Hello and welcome to the meditation. When productivity holds you back. We're going to get right into this meditation, so please be seated. Get comfortable. Not too comfortable. But be seated in a chair or a cushion. And if possible, do make sure that you can have a straight back. Be upright. Be present here in this moment as best as you can. Because we are here intentionally in this practice. And we've clicked on this video because productivity is holding us back. So once you've gotten comfortable, you've found your place, uh, let's get centered. First, to get centered, we are going to do a breathing breath count to the rhythm of in-breath four seconds, hold for seven seconds, and exhale for eight seconds. That's going to get us here in the moment just a little bit more than where our mind might be right now. So that will give us the attention to be able to go into the productivity meditation and focus more fully on those prompts. Okay, so now that we're here, let's move our attention to our breath that ever-flowing, constant fact that is our breath that is always there for us. That breath, always sustaining. Let's feel it in its natural state real quick. Feel the cool air entering your nostrils or your mouth. And notice the exhale, the exhale being warmer than the inhale. So I will guide you through the breath counts. They are here to make you focus on something other than the buzz of your mind. So I'll guide you through maybe five to seven of these. And do keep in mind, you might not feel as comfortable with, with the breaths. You might need to inhale a little quicker to catch up. You might need to exhale a little slower to be in rhythm. But as long as you've got some sort of rhythm and pattern, it's all good. All right. So inhale on the count of one, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then exhale. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Couple more times. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. All out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now breathe as you normally would without making yourself breathe in any longer than your body tells you is right. Whenever you do find your mind wandering, you can always go back to the breath. Because as I guide you through the next part of this meditation, that might happen. And that's completely okay. It's natural. So just remember that it does help to return to something that is always there, like the breath. So do keep that in mind in our next part. So, productivity. Productivity. Let's first begin with defining what it is to us. What does it mean to be productive and what are some synonyms of productivity? I want you to think about this for a minute. What it really means to be productive. Sometimes just going to the synonyms can help. What is the equivalent word of productive? Okay, so what did you come up with? Some of you might have grappled with this much like I did. You may have come to some sort of conclusion that productivity is more about output than about quality. Productive presumes that you're doing more with little time, that you can do more efficiently in less time. And that is the origin of the word. It was about the productivity of machinery, of factories. How high can our output be with less time? How can we make things more quickly, more efficiently? And that was the goal. That's what it has meant. And it still holds that tinge of meaning. It still does. But meanings do change over time, and the way it has been adapted towards us using it in the human context, it has to change some things because we are human. We are not machines. We need, we have different needs. So, 
So as we think about productivity in regards to us, what are the things that we do that are productive? Keeping in mind society's definition, your definition, what you want productivity to be, what do you do? What does it mean to be productive? What are you doing? Your ideal ideal task, ideal things that you're working on, what are those things when you're productive? Take a second. Do you have a side project that you might be working on? Do you want to make money outside of your regular work day? Do you see yourself as productive in the work day? Because work does make up so much of your life that when you are productive at work, you are fulfilled. And in this productivity, is it something that you can see the end of? A, a goal, a, a final goal? Or do you see it more as a continuous grind with, with little milestones, but not really an end? Or a, a final place of achievement? Now, a lot of things might have come up to you, for you at this point. One of those things might be an unknowing of what productivity is, a, a sort of confusion about the definition. You may not have found that, but that is one potential. But whatever is coming up for you, just accept the feelings that you have, because productivity is a loaded word. We see promises of productivity in our YouTube channel. We see promises of productivity in, in media, in every outlet that's promising you something to better yourself. They're often offering a more productive self. So this word is going to carry different connotations for you and that's something that we need to take in and be okay with it's not just it's not just a word lacking all of that backstory it's more than that One thing that might help us here is defining what is not being productive. So when you are not productive, let's turn there. What kinds of things are you, are you doing when you're not productive? And how can you contrast them with the things that are productive? Take a minute. Maybe we have boundaries between what is our productive time 
and our non-productive time, and maybe we don't. It's okay. Again, here some things might have come up, and one might be that we're hard on ourselves. Maybe that came up for you because we are creatures that look at ourselves as imperfect. And when we're on a topic such as productivity, we might go to the fact that we think we are not productive enough. And how can I not even know what it really means to be productive? But how does that help us here? What benefit do we gain if we look at ourselves and and we don't like what we see or we're distasteful at how we how we are doing things? What do we gain? We don't gain anything. We might gain a momentary spurt of energy and vigor to complete a task, but that is not going to sustain us. We need to relook and rethink at how we are productive. So we're going to just start on the journey of thinking about how we can work towards doing the things that we like, that we enjoy, that we classify as productive. Productive in the most positive way. Productive towards the things that we really want to achieve, that we're really excited about, that we're going to be fueled by the fact that we love what we're doing, not by an external force or someone telling us to do something. So to start, we're going to think about the categories that we can be productive. Now maybe you already have these categories, and I'll give you another thing to focus on in in a second here, but in terms of finding the categories that we're productive in, What I mean by this is trying to find a common thread of things that you do, that you realize that you already do working towards something that you enjoy greatly. Finding those threads and realizing that they're part of of something you love to do. So for instance, this meditation YouTube channel I realized I was working on it maybe, you know, once a week, but I didn't feel productive doing it because I didn't, I didn't have it in the category of my mind that I was working towards something bigger towards it. It was just, oh, okay, I'm working on that and I could have been doing something else. But actually doing it is working towards something something big that I do want to work on and I like working on. Another example, a little different, is that, you know, I was wedding planning before everything happened and it was just one of the categories of my productivity. If I was working on my wedding stuff, it meant it was a form of productivity. So just start to think of these categories and notice the things that you realize that you've been doing, that you just haven't maybe taken seriously enough. Now, if you already do have categories or or some sort of framework, you already know a little bit more about what your productivity is, think along the lines of the rhythms of your productivity. So do you have set times that you do certain things? Is it after work, after you've finished up with things and it's, seven o'clock and that's when you start sitting down to work on the book you want to write or work on your reading to your kids, whatever it is. Just think about the rhythms, the rhythms that you, you do these things. 
So we're not going to tackle too much now. This is just, this is a piece of the puzzle. And it's a start, and that's all we need is a start. Or some, some fuel to keep us going. So, so I'll let you, I'll let you think for a second about your categories. Remember to dig deep here, because these you might be at a loss for, but they are within you. You know what you like to do because you gravitate towards those things. So make sure that you explore what is inside of you, because you know, you know what it is. You have done it. You just might not have taken it so seriously. All right, well, let's wrap up. We're coming to the end of this, and I I really hope that this was, this was some progress, some progress towards productivity and what it means to you and getting past all the things that everyone else says it is. Try to separate the boundaries of productivity and non, and and do give yourself a break to be quote-unquote non-productive. It's all a start. We're all planting seeds to make things grow and blossom. So anyway, I thank you for joining me today. Do remember to subscribe. I do put out weekly probably will begin bi-weekly meditations. So please do subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you for joining me. May your day be as meaningful as you make it to be.